Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we'll be doing a shot my stash. Um, um, so super easy. I'm not gonna do it the way I did it last week. I really just genuinely didn't like it. I don't even want to try again. So we're just gonna do it how I normally do it and talk about the makeup products right here, right now. Put them away and then we'll go shot my stash. Um, just because I just like it better that way. And jada jada jada. So. Without further ado, let's just get started. So for primer, I use two different primers. I use the Sephora um, All Day Hydrator in Hydrate and Glow. I love this. There's a little bit. There's probably like two more uses left. Honestly, probably not. Like, even, look, holding it up, it's literally like right here. And that's the product that's like stuck to the side. So I really got to shake it in there. But we're going to keep using this, obviously, just because it's um, the ending. Same with this. There's not a lot of product left. I'm still slowly but surely using this lady up. But, um... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, next for foundation, I use my Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I love this thing so much. It's so pretty on the face. I'm absolutely obsessed. And yeah, I, I am actually, am I going to put it away? Yes. I'm actually going to put this away. We might pull it. Just saying, No, no, no. We'll put it. We'll put it away. We'll put it away. Um, next, I use this AOS Studio Satin, Buildable Satin Foundation. I hate this thing. It really sucks. It really separates my face and it makes it look dry. And so I don't know if it's like the, because it's a satin, it's kind of matte, kind of luminous. It's like that middle sister. And so maybe it's just the matte side of it that really dries out my skin. And so I don't know what to do with it, but I just don't like it. And so I was like, Ugh, I can't force myself to use it again. Um, next is concealer and concealer I loved and used both of my concealers. This is the Born This Way Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer from Too Faced. I have the shade Warm Medium and I'm obsessed. Um, and the shade, my BB cream, this is number 25 and then this is shade 310 Amber. Um, but for my BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer, um, shade number 113. Again, I love this and I loved wearing them together. It was so cute. I was obsessed. Um, so I really, really enjoyed both of these. Um, and then I used, um, my Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder. Honestly, I'm filming this a little early because I know I won't have another time left, but quite honestly, there's probably like two more uses left in here. So by the time this goes up, this will have been done, but I'm so excited about that. And then I used my e.l.f. Prime and Save Finishing Powder like normal. I love this powder so much. So beautiful. Um, this one I think we'll decide if we keep it out. I might keep it out actually though. Um, for bronzer, I ended up not using, I know guys, I'm the worst. I ended up not using this NARS, um, bronzer. I'm actually just going to put it away and, um, save up for another, uh, um, new makeup kind of video. Um, probably in a couple weeks, we're going to save this because I really want to try this out on camera. And every day I was like, I'm not doing it justice by just using it. So, um, and then I had another bronzer that I was going to use, I used for, um, this upcoming full face. So this one I'm actually going to put away, put it back in my new drawer. Um, and then next I used, oh, for bronzer, I also used this e.l.f. duo. I really, this is the one I used every day and I really, really like this bronzer and this combination was absolutely stunning. So I really, really enjoyed that. But I also used for cream contour. Well, for bronzer, I would use this Fenty Matchstick in the shade uh, Cinnamon. Um, and it is just, oh my gosh, honestly, I use so much of it. Like, if you want to see a sneak peek, I use a lot of it. Okay, you can hardly tell. But I use a lot of it, and I just draw it on my face and blend it out, and it is absolutely stunning. So I really, really enjoyed this, like, really enjoyed that. As well as this Ulta Beauty Lip and Cheek Color Stick, I really enjoyed it. I just would take my brush, swirl it in there, hit it on the cheeks, and it was stunning absolutely stunning so i really enjoyed that as well so i guess for highlighter um oh oh for also for blush i had these tart blushes and i honestly did not use them so i'm gonna again because i'm filming this early i'm probably gonna use them tomorrow um but um I, i'm really forcing myself because i really it just was not reaching for this i really wanted my cream blush honestly and the elf duo that's that's what i really wanted so i really wasn't using this but we'll, we'll use them tomorrow probably or in the next two days or so um i don't know so we'll keep it out on like on my desk but it won't be in the next shot my stash i'll put it away after that anyway next i also pulled this ofra highlighter in the shade rodeo drive i'm obsessed i started using it well yesterday i used it with my elf uh flawless concealer brush it's like a circle it's like the ones that kind of cup the cheek and it is so perfect for that i don't have it on today but um i'm it's i'm obsessed i love this all right, so let's just, I guess, go on to eyes. Well, we'll go on to eyebrows. So for brows, I use my Wander Beauty um, pencil in the shade 
uh, taupe. It's the Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe, as well as my e.l.f. Brow Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown, and I love them together. I'm going to keep them out because the combination is superb. I really like this one for lining, and then this one for filling, and it's a great duo, so I really, really enjoyed that. And then for eyeshadow, I use my Hot Butter, Too Faced Hot Butter Rum eyeshadow palette. Um, I love this as well. We are going to put it away. I know I'm sad, um, but I, I, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And then I also use my Makeup Forever like little tin. It has three uh, Laura Lee Los Angeles eyeshadows in here, and I really enjoyed this as well. I'm wearing the middle shade in my crease, and I really, really love it. I like having this just out because when I use single shadows and stuff, um, I get to use this, so I really enjoyed that. We'll keep that. That just stays in here kind of. But we also use this in Natasha Denona single. Um, I use this on, uh, with mixed with another eyeshadow from the Hot Butter Rum palette, and I actually and I'm, I'm obsessed. I love this shadow as well. We are actually gonna put this away just because I don't want to use it this week. Um, it usually stays in here, but I, I don't want to use it ever. So this week, so um, we are gonna put it away just so I don't for, use it one day. Um, but I really enjoyed that. I haven't not I've yet to use my PS Liquid eyeshadow. I'm just it's in the shade Frosted. I don't remember if I grabbed the shade Sub Zero or Frosted whatever it doesn't matter either way i haven't used either of them and i know it sucks so we're gonna keep it out we'll probably use it tomorrow um oh tomorrow's my thing though so i don't know if i'm gonna use this tomorrow what the heck i just lied to you okay i don't think i'm gonna keep out my tart blushes because tomorrow um um it's a very special day and so i really want to use my favorite products and kind of just grab whatever i want so we're gonna put these away I know it sucks I'm gonna put it away either way and we also gonna put away this eyeshadow we might use this I don't know we'll just we'll just put everything away we won't keep anything out um, so then next was eyeliner and I actually used um, the appeal gel eyeliner I used this once I think or one day I don't know um, I'd like it it's just very specific so like I just certain looks I can't wear this with so that's just that's just the truth so but I really enjoyed that we're gonna put that away and then we use the Kat Von D tattoo locket liner Ta Kat Von D locket tattoo liner which just lives in here as well as the Lancome mascara base and then we also one day I used my Suvi Hydra liner in the shade Grease because I just really wanted to I missed it and I really enjoyed the, using this this week actually you know I think we're gonna switch it out well you know I think we're gonna we're gonna switch out we're gonna use my Hydra liner and put this girl away because I really want to use the Hydra liner. Oh, I forgot to say, for my face, I used this, tried to use this Huda Beauty face palette. I didn't use it once, so we're going to just put it away. I just feel like because it's so glowy and so deep, it's a lot, it's my summer shade first of all, so it's very deep for me right now. But all the glow just reminds me more for summer, so we're just going to put that away. For now, I know it sucks, I should have used it, but I really didn't want to. <sighs> okay. And then for mascara, we use my Big Ego, Tarte Big Ego mascara. I'm ready to put it away. I really enjoyed this this week. So not a lot of products. The only products we are, well, we'll go through them with the products that we're keeping out at the end, of course, like always. So, oh, I forgot lips. I always forget lips. Um, I use my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Diamond Milk. I really enjoyed this. Um, I think we're going to, hmm, I think we're going to leave this in here. Um, as well as, oh well, I use, also use my Sephora Lip Story in the shade Labyrinth City. I really enjoyed this. I used, got a pretty good amount of use out of this. I think I wore it two different, I think I wore it three times. Yes, three, well, I wore it once, I think. Oh my gosh. Well, I wore it once and then I reapplied it. So that counts as three times of putting it on my lips. <laughs> and I wore it like for a video or something. So I, I used it a bit and I really enjoyed that. So we're going to put that away. As well as the, oh, I have not used my Dose of Colors um, Messy Bun Lip Gloss. So we're going to leave that in. I love the smell of it. I just, I, again, it's very specific. It's a shade. So like when I do certain eye looks, it doesn't match too much. So I, I want to keep that and really use that um, for real. <sighs> All right, and then the last products here that I used this week was the Ofra Madison Miller Lip Gloss in the shade Smiley for Riley. I don't love this. It just dissolves on your lips. It's literally like chapstick. Like, what am I doing? Why, why, why am I putting this on if it just dissolves and leaves glitters on me? So it's not my favorite, but we're going to put it away. We'll see if I declutter, if we declutter this. I'm going to have to. I really didn't want to because it was a collab. Madison Miller, you know, I love her. She's great. And then Ofra, but, you know, girl, I don't know. All right, so that is it for this part of it. Let's just go and shop my stash. Okay, so this week's stash is going to be new makeup. And so I really, obviously, I have all my new makeup in one drawer. 
Um, and so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my full face and new makeup, but I also want to go through my drawers and pull, pull like backup products in case something doesn't work out for me, in case I need to mix certain things. So like for foundation, well, okay, let's start with primer. Primer is this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I love this product, so we're going to pull that, but we also have two other found, um, primers, so we'll just leave it at that. So like for foundation, this is the Anastasia, ooh, I think it's Luminous Foundation. I have the shade three. I have the shade 365, and I don't love this shade. I mean, it ends up looking good, uh, but I don't love it. So we're gonna pull that, but then we'll go to foundations and pull another foundation. Um, I also, obviously, I'm gonna pull my Joa Beauty um, All Brushed Up Creamy Concealer. I have the shade medium. And then um, setting powder, we're gonna pull my Ciate Extraordinary. Actually, yes. And then, like, um, I don't wanna use this bronzer yet. Um, but I am going to pull this cream powder, uh, this, what are you called? Bronze pink beige, like, elf, um, cream duo thing. We're going to pull that. And then my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, this Wet n Wild cream highlighter in the shade When the Nude Strikes. I don't know if I want that. I don't want that. And then we're going to pull my Joa, um lipstick in the shade sorry not sorry so those are going to be the new products um i also again want to pull regular old products so let's just go start at the top here um we're good on eyeliner mascara we're good on brow i don't want any singles i don't think actually we're just going to put this dealer one in here um so it's all singles for foundation i do want to pull this elf um Flawless Finish Foundation, I have the shade Almond. I think these two, this and the Anastasia might be a good combination. Or I have this one just in case um, I don't want to wear the Anastasia one. So we'll pull that. Um, those can stay. I don't need another primer. I think we're good on primer. For concealer, I really want to pull this e.l.f. 16-hour um, wear camo concealer. I have the shade Tan Sand. Just in case. I think they might be a good combination because the other one's so creamy. Um, for powder, I do want to pull my e.l.f. Do I want to pull it? No, we're not going to pull it. We'll just leave it in there. All right, and then for highlighter, I don't know if I... You know what? I think we're going to pull... Um, no, let's pull Luna. We haven't pulled my Luna by Luna. We're going to pull my Luna by Luna highlighter shade in the shade Electra because I haven't used that in a long time. Okay, we're going to pull my Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess. Do I want to? I don't know. All right, we're going to pull my Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade What Shady Beaches um, in case I the cre I don't want to wear the cream one that day, um, which I probably will, but this is just in case. And then, you know, I think I am going to pull, I had these last week, but I didn't use them, but I think I am going to pull this these three tart blushes um, in case I want them and don't want a cream. So we'll pull that. And I think that should be it for this drawer as well. The only thing I don't have, I don't have a face palette, but I think we'll be okay with just this duo here. Um, but I don't know what I want for eyeshadow palettes. So I really don't have a new eyeshadow palette. My newest one is the Buttered Rum, but I don't want to use that one because I used it for so long. Okay, so I really, I think I'm going to pull two. Um, is this, this is Blue Boss. I want to pull the, my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. I haven't used this one in a hot, fresh minute. But I also want to pull my Laura Lee Los Angeles Boss Pit palette. She's releasing a new release, or she just released a new release um, when I put this video up. Um, and so um, I want to use her baby, and I missed this as Girl, it's beautiful. So we're going to pull those two. All right, so that should be it. We're going to talk about what we got. And yeah. Okay, guys. So um, we're almost done with this video. We're just going to talk about what we got. For primer, we have my, we have three. This is the Sephora um, All Day Hydrator. It's literally almost done. I don't even know if it'll last a day, um, honestly. So we're going to use that. Um, we're also going to use my Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. 
I love this. Again, it's almost done, so we're going to keep using that one. It's kind of like a staple in here. Um, the, this, I'm so excited. This is a new product. I'm so excited to try this. The Wander Beauty Glow Head Illuminating Face Oil. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm excited. So excited to use this. For foundation, we have two. One is my Anastasia uh, Luminous Foundation Sample. I have it on right now. Spoiler alert, but and I really like it, so I'm really excited to use that. That is in the shade 365. And 365C if you would need to know. Anyway, next is my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Almond. I'm so excited to use this as well. I haven't used it in that in that in so long. I actually am trying to do, for the um, my next shot, my stash, it's going to be a 30-day minimalist challenge. So for 30 days, I'm only going to use my um, um, Project Pan items, super minimal, just those products for 30 days, and it's going to be super hard, but I'm really, 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 really want it to work and want to try it so uh yeah so that's why i want to pull like products that i haven't used in a while and kind of love them and newer products because then they're going to sit for a little bit <laughs> for like 30 days anyway next concealer i have two concealers i have my uh joa all brushed up creamy concealer in the shade medium i'm really excited to use this um keep using this as well as the 16 elf 16 hour camo concealer in shade tan sand i haven't used this in so long but i think they'll be good together I just had a choke attack. But anyway, I also pulled this uh, Ciate Extraordinary Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I'm really excited to use this because it is just so beautiful. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited to love her. And then next is bronzer. So I do have this cream duo that um, I'm really excited to keep using. Um, this is the e.l.f. I don't know what it's called. Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer. So we're just going to call it the e.l.f. Aqua Infused um, bronze pink beige elf aqua infused cream thing duo in the shade bronze pink beige i think they only have one shade but i'm ooh, love her love her it looks very scary but it's not scary i promise and then we also pulled the um bronzer in the shade what shady beaches from wet and wild um again excited to use this one just in case i don't want to use the cream one and then um, we are going to use also for blush, we're going to use these Tarte blushes. I have the shade Study Sesh. Okay, I just looked at that one. Study Sesh, um, Team Spirit, and LYLAS. So Study Sesh, Team Spirit, and LYLAS. These are limited edition shades, I believe, in their um, Tarte blush books um, that I deep potted. So um, yeah, we're going to use that in case I don't want to use my cream blush like I said and then for highlighter we have two different highlighters again a powder and a cream <laughs> this is the wet and wild mega mega glow makeup stick in highlight whatever in the shade when the nude strikes I'm really excited for this oh yes girl I'm going on the cream kick I'm also using my Luna by Luna highlighter in the shade Electra oh this is my child I love her love her I'm trying to say for brows um i'm using the wander beauty frame your face micro brow pencil in the shade taupe as well as the elf brow pencil in the shade neutral brown i love this combination so bomb okay then for eyeshadow what am i trying to say eyeshadow we have like this little laura Lee los angeles cat's pajama trio from that palette which i don't know how much we'll dip into because a lot of the shades i have are in these two palettes but first palette we're gonna use the laura Lee los angeles boss bay palette i live for this palette it's gonna be so much fun um this week i feel like as well as the morphe jacqueline hill bling boss palette i miss both of them so we're gonna use both of these i'm so excited so excited so excited so excited all right and then for liner we have the suva beauty hydra liner in the shade grease i'm really excited for this because i really loved it that one day i spray like setting spray in here so it gets liquid dip the brush in here and dip it in there and just line my lashes and it looks so beautiful line my eyes whatever and then for mascara we have um the Lanco Mascara Base, like always, as well as the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension um, Mascara in the shade Brin. And I'm really excited um, for this. And this combination could be good and fresh and fun. So, um, yeah, I always forget lips and I don't know why. We also pulled the Joa Lip Gloss Lipstick. I don't know what they're called and I need to, maybe I just need to look it up because they're not just like regular lipsticks, they're like juicy lipsticks like this. Um, oh, obviously I have it on excuse me oh there you go and it's in the shade sorry not sorry and i live for that shade 
Um, and then we also have my friend team Gloss Bomb in the shade Diamond Milk. Um, look at that progress. Yes, girl. And then we also have my Dose of Colors Messy Bun um, lip gloss, which I'm excited to use as well. Hopefully I get used out of that. So now that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.